good morning to all my student managers and the respected panel members present over here. We welcome you all to the induction presentation day two. My name is Pawan Shankar Gowda. And my name is Sachin Gowda. And we are from River Saraswati. Yes, There is audio, bro. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Actually, there is audio clip here, but it's not working. We are going to give presentation on the topic journey of Royal Enfield. Moreover, the success story of Royal Enfield. Why we are doing this? Uh, means why we have chosen this topic? We have chosen this topic because we personally love this brand, and I had and this guy had many rides on this bike and motorcycle of bullet next and these are the contents which i will be going through the, uh, in the next couple of slides okay introduction royal enfield is one of the oldest surviving motorcycle company <coughs> globally and it was founded in 1893 by albert <coughs> by albert eddy and robert walker smith and it, Early, in earlier days, uh, they used to manufacture the lawn mowers, bicycles, and motorcycles. In the first motorcycle was built in the year 1901, and it was in India. Enfield India was founded in the 19 in the year 1955, and in the year 1994, the Enfield India was bought by Echar Motor Limited, and the, it has named then Royal Enfield India. Next, we'll go through the, this organization. Royal Enfield is a corporate house under which the Royal Enfield Motorcycle Company was founded. Company started its business as a weapon, and uh, the, the most famous was the Enfield Rifle. Legacy of the company is equipped in the logo of the cannon. The motor of the company is made like a gun. The earlier it was made like a gun, when it came to India, it is made like a gun and goes like a bullet. Royal Enfield gained popularity in India in the year 1955 when the government of India ordered the 800 bullets for the Indian borders for the Indian army uh, and that time the collaboration between the Royal Enfield and the Ace World Madras came into. Next we will see a small video which will tell you the, all the models from the 1901 to the 2017. So, This is the latest model, Continuous LCT, which was released in 2017. And these are new models which are launched in the year 1819. And these are called the twin bikes. One is the Continuous GT 650 and other is Interceptor 650. Revenue analysis of the company as shown in 2015 and 16, it was 5,000, rupees 5,211 crores. And in 2016-17, it was 7,000 333 crores and in 2017-18 the revenue grew by 27% in India and uh, to 8,965 crores. In international business also it, uh, the company revenue was grew by 29% during the year 2017 and 18. Next we will come to the market size and these are the some of the companies which will uh, produce the motorcycles 
and uh, one among them is the Royal Enfield. We can see the numbers there. How many units are uh, getting sold in the year 2018 and in the, in the year 2019? Uh, 8 lakh 1,229 in the in the year 2018 and 8 lakh 5,273 in the 2019. And these information we got from the source of account types. Market share group. In 2018, the market share of the uh, company was 4%. As we can see, the market share of the Hirocorp Motorcorp was 36.6% and uh, the Hindu, uh, Honda Motorcycle uh, uh, and uh, Scooter India was 28.6%. But in 2019, the market share, uh, market share growth was decreased by 0.2% and led to 3.8%. SWOT analysis. Uh, the strength of the company are they, uh, they give uh, best competition in the segment of 350cc and 500cc and they are proven for the product durability and uh, they uh, retain the customer for longer time. Weaknesses are they are having high prices uh, comparatively and less, less advertisement and little negligible product innovation. Opportunities of the company companies are increase the sales with the advertisement, innovation of the products and uh, offer better finance schemes. Threats for the company are uh, exclusive entry of foreign players and exclusive uh, entry of the 350cc and uh, 500cc segments of market in market. Next we will go to competitor analysis. They are the, uh, these are the tough competitors for the Royal Enfield. And I, I have distributed them in the price and the quantity in the segment of 250cc to 700cc. We can see the Baja Auto Limited like uh, KTM, Dominar, which have a high price and the quantity is also high. And uh, when we come to the Hero, we have uh, the quantity is high and the price is low. And these are logos of the, all the companies. Marketing strategy. The Royal Enfield Motorcycle Company had uh, two campaigns on TV. One is Shanki Sawari and the second one is the Bullet Chalai to Dunia Rastave. And they can they organize and conduct uh, Royal Enfield Mania in Goa every year, which is known as Indian Bike Week. Uh, believe me friends, it is amazing experience to visit Indian Bike Week. I had a nice experience over there. They brand themselves through Royal Enfield Riders Club and communities and even they brand themselves with, uh, through film industries such as Jab Take Jaan and Jindagi Na Milegi Dubara. Next moving on to the current status and the future plan, overall sales have declined by 20% in March 2019 and 70% uh, in April 2019. The revamped Royal Enfield models loved by the classic 350 which has done a tremendous work and also has a post a robust growth. New 650cc twin bikes have been launched to increase the sales of the market. The company now has a network of 825 outlets and 349 Royal Enfield bike dealers in India. Which has motor plans to open the 350 studio outlets now. They aim to touch 1,100 towns and the more 350 more stores in India. Next, moving on to the conclusion. The front page objectively explains the journey of Royal Enfield from the quarter cycle to the most aspirational motor brand in India. It also highlights the segment under which the bike is positioned and the result of its previous competitors. Royal Enfield's strategic acquisition plan to open new stores and launch a new brand, new motorcycles. Thank, Thank you. you. So I will again like...